I created a gold farm. AFK, drops things down, flesh is sorted out there, thrown in the lava, and these are gold nuggets sorted out and put directly into these chests. And then the rest of the swords are thrown down and smelted into nugs. So it's like perfect. I'll create a little Thickland trading farm. And then I had a on off on off uh, switch. And I was like, no, that's excessive. And as you can see, the lights come on off, yada yada. And oh, currently my storage is backed up. Um, actually, I'll leave that on. Hopefully, it's just the hoppers. No. We'll figure something out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, so the on-off was a bit excessive and annoying. And so I thought, cool, we'll just create a, a standard hopper clock, right? Wrong. It no longer works because the pistons want to be updated. So instead I created a more attractive version where it inverses the, um, the pulse and then wraps around to the other piston. Same thing. And I was like, well, that's not attractive and maybe other people need help too. So I tried to create ways to inverse the, um, inverse the pulses or something along those lines. Didn't work, didn't work until I came up with this which inverts, inverses the, the pulse and then uses a sticky piston to pull it back so I don't need to wrap around the redstone like from before. Um, I, I think it's beautiful, I think it's simple, it's tileable. Wouldn't you want to date this? So I don't see a need for a tutorial because there's not much to it. I think I might keep the uh, more attractive, bigger version for my pigment trading. The good thing is this works, so you should try and see if that like button works.